So one thing I want to clarify about feedback loops is that they are part of a stimulus response pathway, um, but stimulus response pathways don't always involve feedback. We will be talking about stimulus response pathways a lot um, in the future. So it's basically the idea that a stimulus is detected by a sensor, your nervous system, um, sometimes endocrine, so control center, then initiates a response. That's stimulus response. Um, that's a lot like feedback. So I wish to go through an example here. Um, we talked about body temperature. So for example, let's say it's hot. So high temperature, that is the stimulus. It's high temperature, like outside in the world, but your body actually increases its in temperature. That's the stimulus um, due to external heat. My body temperature increases. Um, that's going to be detected, as we've said, by thermoreceptors. This is your sensor or receptor. This um, pathway here is directed to the nervous system, so hypothalamus. Let's just say nervous system. Okay, well, just for those of you who like the detail, hypothalamus. Um, this is our control center. This control center is then going to target a target or a vector. For example, the sweat glands is one of the targets. Um, in this case, sweat glands are going to release sweat. That is the response. And I told you a couple of videos ago too, something like that, um, sweat produced, that sweat itself is not a regulated variable, right? Your sweat changes dynamically in response to body temperature changing. The homeostatic variable is what? Body temperature. So there's gonna be negative feedback here. But my point right now is this is also a component of a stimulus response pathway. Um, you can see it right here, right? Stimulus response. So there are other cases. In this case, this is a component of a feedback loop. See if you can think of any examples of things that are will be stimulus response that aren't directly involved in a feedback loop. So grabbing something hot or responding to pain. Reflexes, like a knee jerk reflex. The response to that is not a feedback loop. It is important for maintaining homeostasis because your skin will burn and that's bad, um, but there's no regulated variable directly influenced by, so you grab something hot and you pull away real quick, stimulus response. That pathway is not maintaining some variable directly. There's no regulated variable we can look at with that. Again, still important for homeostasis. So I just do want you to keep separate, um, but related, basically the idea of stimulus response as a really big, important thing that involves stimulus, sensory system. So sensory, your nervous system typically, and then motor output. input, output. Stimulus response pathways can be feedback loops, but they're not always. So for now, the focus on the content for this week is homeostasis. And then the main way, a main way we maintain homeostasis directly is negative feedback. And then contrasting that to positive feedback, I want you to keep in mind, just stimulus response is a part of this. And in a couple of weeks, um, get into muscular system, nervous system, then sensory, we will see stimulus response pathway 
as an aspect of that, it is the framework for all of that information and not necessarily with homeostasis directly. So not with a regulated variable um, being a part of the direct story. So we need to keep that in mind. So a little bit of um, kind of thinking ahead to where, what we're gonna do with this.